Hi friends. Today we're going to talk the Worldwide Write-A-Thon Preptober edition. If you were here in August, you will know that in August we did a Worldwide Write-A-Thon that was a 24-hour span of 18 hours worth of live streams and had several different people all throughout YouTube and AuthorTube join me for that. And it was kind of a hit. Everybody seemed to really love it. Got a lot of uh, comments and suggestions for future rounds because I decided that it was kind of easy to put together. So it will be fun to do again in October to do it as a Preptober. So for the Preptober edition, there's going to be a few changes. The first of which is the time period. So this time, instead of doing 24 hours, we are going to do 36 hours. That's right. 36 hours. So the date and time for this will be midnight Eastern Standard Time on October 10th to noon Eastern Standard Time on October 11th. So as I said, 36 hours. Midnight, you'll pass the midnight, go to the next noon. Um, it's Eastern Standard Time, Eastern Daylight Time, whichever it's in. Um, I will link World Time Buddy in the description box below. Uh, that has always been the easiest one for me to figure out time zones with because they account for daylight savings time, whether whatever time zone you're looking at, whether they're in daylight savings time or not. So that definitely helps. It is one of the few that does that. So definitely recommend will link below. So per my viewer and host requests, there were a request for longer sprints. We talked about doing an hour 15 and I instead went for an hour and a half. So we're going to do 90 minute sprints with a 30 minute break between each one. And there will be 18 sprints, same as last time. And that's what gets us to our 36. So there will be 90 minute sprints, 30 minutes of break, and then it will switch to a new host and do 90 minute sprints, 30 minute break, switch to a new host. There are also going to be chats this time. You guys requested uh, something a little more interactive and something that people who were taking a break could do. So we're going to have, I believe, six chats, 939393. Yes, 3 a.m., 9 a.m., 3 p.m., 9 p.m., 3 a.m., 9 a.m. So every six hours of the event, there will be, well, not every six hours because it starts three hours in, but you know what I mean, six hours apart there will be chat streams that you can join. Some of these will be themed, some will not. It just really depends on um, who I assign to chats and if they have a theme in mind, because I haven't done that yet. Uh, schedule is still pending, but um, we also are gonna be putting together some games and just some different things that you guys can do during the chat to kind of hang out, have a good time, get some socialization and the next thing is kind of a surprise, even for the hosts and co-hosts. I kind of put this idea together uh, on a whim. Thought it would be fun. I've told a few people, if you were around for my live reading sprints last week, you will already know this. I am going to host on the concluding evening of the write-a-thon, a wrap a party of sorts. Um, for anyone who participated, whether it was a host, a co-host, a viewer, um, someone who was in the chat, someone who just watched the sprints and hung out, uh, we're going to have a costume party. Yeah. So we're going to do 36 hours of sprints. And I don't expect anyone to be crazy enough to do all the 36 hours. So that's why I feel like doing an event later in the evening after is totally fine because most people will have had a nap by then of one sort or another. So we're going to do 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will have a co-host, the lovely Stig, is going to join me. And we are going to be in costume and we're going to just hang out and chat about the day and how everything went. Uh, maybe just have some fun and hang out because, I mean, it's Halloween and Halloween parties are probably not going to happen this year. So we're just going to kind of hang out, have some fun. I have a grand idea because I can have nine other people on screen with me at a time. So it would be me and then Steve and then eight other people. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the chat link public. And so anyone who wants to hop in and join in the live stream and like show up their costume, we can do that. Talk for a little bit, kick you out, bring somebody else in. 
that's kind of what we're going to do and just kind of like do around and just anybody that wants to come and hang out on screen for a few can do so um, and talk about their costume and their experience during the event and just hang out and have some fun. So that, again, that will be 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the 11th. It'll be seven hours after the end of the write a So hopefully everybody gets a good nap in, throw a costume on, come hang out. If you are just now hearing about the Worldwide write a and it is the first time that you have heard it, uh, and it's a new thing for you and you want to join in, uh, this round is pretty full. I have about 60 volunteers already. So what I would like you to do is go to the description box below. There will be a link for a Google form that you can fill out. And I will email you for following rounds of the write a so when we do one in the spring, you can make sure that you're on the list for the email for that. I did say I was going to do them quarterly, but I think I'm going to do three a year and do them the month before every Nano. So um, there's Camp Nano in April. We'll do one in March. Camp Nano in July. We'll do one in June. And then NaNoWriMo, we'll do one in October. That way you can use them as like a planning period for whatever you're going to work on for Nano. I think that kind of will help. I know a lot of people have suggested that we do them during Nano itself, but it's just too much. Like it's too much for me to handle and to be able to also work on my Nano project. And I also think that there's already so many people who do continuous sprints during Nano that I, I don't need to add this into the pot. Um, month before as like a prep thing, I think is great, but adding it into the month of, I wouldn't get to enjoy my actual Nano time. so not working for me. The schedule is to come. I do not have a schedule finished yet. I'm still waiting for a few people to get back with me on um, their availability and then I'll be filling out a schedule and then I will be making you guys some infographics for um, where you can catch everybody at. Same as last time, I'll be making a playlist so that you can just pull the playlist up and it will automatically, when it's time for the next person to start, it will jump to theirs. That way you don't have to jump from page to page to page trying to find people. It makes it so much easier, especially if you're not following everybody. Um, we have a lot of people that are, I would say, smaller YouTubers that are going to be joining us for this. Some will be hosting, some will be co-hosting. I don't police people on how many subscribers they need to have in order to host. It's just I have so many people that want to host. I put everybody into a, a wheel and I pick people and that's how we go with it. So to sum up, midnight, October 10th, Eastern Standard Time to noon, Eastern Standard Time, October 11th, 36 hours. Worldwide write a schedule to come, playlist to come, wrap party at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the 11th, Games, fun, chats, themed chats, writing sprints, NaNoWriMo prep. I think that's I think that's it. I think that's all we got. Okay, that is everything I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book-related videos whenever I feel like it. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!